What's happening, Flowchat Connector? Sean back at you here with another high ticket tune up. In today's Flowchat sales training tip of the day, we're going to dive really deep into Flowchat, not Flowchart, and talk a little bit about uh, systems and reducing complexity so that you can win by putting a nice flow chart into your business. So, a business flow chart. And let's talk a little bit about the social selling tools for your business that you might be able to use specifically when it comes to building a social selling asset for your business. Stay tuned. Here we go. What's happening, Flowjack Connector? Sean back at you here with another high ticket tune up. Don't forget to smash that like button, share this out to somebody else who needs to get better at sales. And remember, it's all about you and all about winning, winning, winning. Hope you're having a great day today. Really excited to dive into some social selling frameworks. Today, we're going to talk about some really, really cool things. And the first question I really have for you is this like, have you mapped out your flow? Uh, this is a great time of year to just take a few minutes and pull out a piece of paper and start mapping out your flow. And what I mean by that, not it, we want to create a flow chart. And uh, inside of that flow chart, we just want to put some big things that can give us the idea of like where we're going and what we're trying to accomplish. And there's a couple of tips that you want to remember when you're working on stuff like this. The first thing is just remember, number one, simple wins, like the, the most simple things we can think about, like think about some of the biggest brands in the world. Nike, their little emblem is a swoosh, super simple. Just do it is their logo, right? So we remember that stuff. The simplicity is the stuff that we remember, we never forget, we can latch onto and we can grow with. And so simple always wins. Secondly, I think is, is valuable to remember is tip number two here is reducing complexity. It can still be simple, but it can be complex, right? So what we want to do is we want to reduce the complexity within the simple frameworks that you have for your business. And if you have reduced complexity and a simple system, then as you start to grow your organization, everybody in your company and your team will catch on. Your clients will have a better experience. Like a great example of this would be an onboarding, right? So when you're having people come through your flow and learn new things and get into your world, the onboarding process needs to be extremely not complex and very simple for people to follow so that they can do it themselves and it doesn't weigh down on your shoulders when you're doing delivery work. So that's kind of the tip number two. And then tip number three, before we get into the actual functionality of the social selling framework, um, is this test and optimize. If you are a marketer online at all, and you're doing anything that you, any any sales opportunity or anything for business generation or growth, test and optimize, test and optimize. As a good marketer, you should live and die by testing and optimizing, testing and optimizing. I know when I first learned how to build funnels and do other things, I just would build it and I would think to myself, oh, that's wonderful, it's great, like it's done, and now I'm ready to go. And I would put the funnel out there and then there would be a link missing or there'd be an image lost or the wrong video was stored in there or it didn't click through and do all the stuff that I needed to do because I never tested just because I was like, oh, it's good enough. Let's push it out. Well, that's fine. I agree with getting it done and getting it done quickly. Done is the new perfect. But if you're not testing what you finish, you never know if it's actually going to work. And the worst thing that can happen is if you push something out there and a prospect comes through that process and it's broken, guess what? You're not going to win the business, right? So those are kind of the three first tips that I wanted to share with you. Let's get into some of the stuff that I think is going to be super valuable for everybody here. So first and foremost, let's talk about social selling frameworks. There's a lot of different social selling frameworks out there. I'm going to actually dive into a flow chart of how we operate and how a lot of businesses do operate with a business pipeline. And this is really a way where you can get clients today. Like you can get clients today. You can turn conversations into your customers. You can really set up messaging frameworks to win. So check out, uh, here we go. So let's dive in. The first thing is we got to remember is this. We need to build some sort of a funnel and we want to keep this extremely simple. I like to keep things in threes. So the first thing I'll tell you is you need a social source. If you're going to use online to generate opportunity, there is no better social source than social media itself. So if we look at what are all the different social medias that are out there, the most popular ones, as we all know, are Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, uh, Twitter, TikTok's on the rise, uh, Telegram, Pinterest, Discord, Slack. There's a lot of other ones. These are the ones that uh, we've actually experienced 
it's again testing and optimizing to generate a tremendous amount of cash flow and so the first thing is is choosing a social source now if you have a big enough organization you can go into multiple sources um, if you are just getting started then i would recommend like our one of my coaches russell brunson he near and dear to my heart he told me i because i asked him i was like how do i do this do i go on all the social channels do i start with one like what do i do and he said no 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 dude choose one and go make a million dollars on that first one and then move to the next one. And so we ended up starting with Facebook because at the time it's the giant. I think it still is one of the giants out there, but um, there's other ones that are climbing towards it now. Um, and we did. We made a million bucks, in fact, multiple millions of dollars. And, and then we started moving into the other social platforms. So the first thing is, is, is just understanding the social source that you're going to choose. And once you know that social source, then we start looking a little bit deeper. So say, for example, we're, we're going to just go down the path of, of Facebook. What are, what are the methods of where we can find pockets of people that are the right fit for our business? Well, we could look at um, maybe our friends list. Maybe only we friended people that are possible prospects for our business. So we could go and we could grab all of the friends lists that we have generated since we started building our Facebook profile and that becomes a good source. Maybe that's not it. Maybe you want to go and uh, look in groups. Well, groups are another great place on, on Facebook where we could start a process. And again, it's always about building a system that's going to be easy for you to replicate and use and do. So again, I'm saying get very selective here, choose one avenue or one method of where you're gonna go and test that method. So the first thing I said is you could check your friends. Second thing is we could go into groups. We could find some people in groups that might be a good fit. Third, maybe you've been messaging a bunch of people that are already great prospects for you. What if you could just grab all those people that you've been messaging and now that's gonna be your source. There are some really cool tools. And again, um, a, a social selling management system is something that is next that I'm gonna share with you. But the, the other idea is this, like what if you could go to a thought leader in your space and grab some of the posts that that person has made and then look at the people who have liked that post or maybe commented on that post. That's another strategy that works extremely well. So lots of different avenues that we could take within any one of these social media sources, but the idea is just to choose one. Again, keep it simple, reduce complexity, and then test and optimize. So next, you're gonna need some sort of a social message management system. Now, when we first started, we used a uh, spreadsheet and a piece of paper. It was very archaic, but it worked extremely well. I know a lot of people still do that and that's fine other people say well i have a crm for that well that's great if the crm relates and, and connects directly with all the social media but there's very few if any in fact the only one that i'm aware of that manages all the platforms that you see here is flowchat not flowchart this is flowchat flowchat is a software that me and a couple of people co-founded and we've built a really nice business out of and, and what it does is it manages messaging inside of all of your social media. It's the piece, the missing link, if you will, uh, between the social media and getting the cash flow from clients and finding those clients on social. So we can use Flowchat to do all of the things that I already just kind of mentioned there, but I'm gonna kind of keep continuing. As long as you have a social message management system. Now let's go back to the example of a spreadsheet quickly. Let's say we went into a thought leaders post and there's like 15 people that like that post. Well, we could go and we could collect every single one of those 15 people that like that post their link write down some information look at their profile firm that they're a good fit and then maybe start messaging well that could take a long time that's why flowchat exists is to create efficiency and reliability but at the same time create simplicity and no complexity when you're going through and building a big base of new clients right and so once we have our social message management system tuned up the only last thing that we have to do here to keep this very robust is choose a customer relation management system, right? So this is going to be customer relationship management, not social message management. Most people get those things confused. That's why Flowchat can sit in front of any of these other ones that are out there. So for example, we use high level. In another video, I'm going to be breaking down how Flowchat and high level integrate and how we use it in our world. So I'll give you a very clear idea of that. And um, there could be some links below in the description here that you can actually read a few articles and learn some more things there, but it doesn't matter what CRM that you're using, um, as long as you have a very simple and organized and reduced complex system where you can actually manage this and, and get to the result that you're trying to get to. So this is how we use it. And when we do it correctly, it creates cash flow. And that's the biggest thing because 
We're going to have prospects come through the social channels. We're going to move them into our message management system of whatever choice you have. And then from there, we would just push them right into a CRM. Now, we do this all day long and we help other clients to do this. If you're interested in that, go ahead and book a call. There's a link in the description below to learn a little bit more about how this might be set up for you to give you the strategy and what to say and how to actually execute on these things. Because this is something that I think is extremely valuable. And I can tell you that if you're really working towards growing your business and trying to get clients today and you're ready to turn conversations into your customers, then this particular system or a system very similar to this, and again, I'm just giving you examples, um, is going to be really, really powerful. And that's it for today. Again, just have a social source, have a way to manage the me messaging that you're doing in that social source, and then use a CRM to create the, the client experience and the client flow. And when you do that, you keep things simple and you usually win at the highest level. With that said, you've just been tuned up. I hope this one was powerful for you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this out to somebody else who needs that uh, sales training or some sales help there. And again, uh, systems is a thing that usually trips people up. So I would just encourage you to keep things extremely simple. You've just been tuned up. I can't wait to see you next time. Until we do that, talk soon and be safe. Bye for now.